quadratic and linear equations in context. Example 1. A right angle triangle is made from a rope 24 meters long. If the hypotenuse of the triangle AB has to be 10 meters, find firstly an equation in terms of x and y for the perimeter of the triangle. Now the perimeter of a triangle is what we get if we add up the sides. We see from the diagram our sides are 10 meters, x and y. So the perimeter will be 10 plus x plus y added together. And this must equal 24 meters. Therefore, we can see that x plus y must be equal to 14 meters, taking 10 from both sides. So this is our first equation. In part two, we're asked for an equation in terms of x and y for the hypotenuse of a triangle. Pythagoras' theorem tells us that x squared plus y squared will be equal to 10 squared. The hypotenuse squared is the sum of the other two sides squared added together. Therefore, x squared plus y squared must be equal to 100. This is our second equation. In part three, we have to solve these two equations. Solving a linear and a quadratic involves rewriting the linear in terms of one variable and solving this value into the quadratic equation. So we have y is equal to 14 minus x. Therefore, the quadratic equation becomes x squared plus 14 minus x to b squared is equal to 100. Now we expand this expression. 14 squared is 169. Multiply 14 by negative x and double it. It's negative 28x and negative x to b squared is positive x squared. We see now we have two of the x squareds and negative 28x. And if we take 100 from both sides into the equation, dividing across by 96, two, is we see then zero. that x squared minus 28x plus 48 equals zero. So let's solve this quadratic equation. So we factorize it first. So we're thinking about the factors of x squared and the factors of plus 48 that kind of add to negative 14. And we will see that 6 eighths are 48, but negative six by negative eight adds to negative 14. So these are our factors. Therefore, x equals six and x equals eight are our two solutions. Um, if these are our x values, what would our y values be? Well, remember y is equal to 14 minus x. So 14 minus six would be eight and 14 minus eight would be six. Now this is not surprising. X and Y are interchangeable. One of them is six and the other one is eight meters. We could, we don't know which is which, we might just finish by saying the sides of this triangle are eight meters and six meters.